Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy South Central back at it again with another review. And today, topic is fresh and fit. Okay, on fresh and fit, they usually talk about relationship dynamics, especially in the modern day, as far as liberal women, uh, the modern day women, and the average male. Okay, um, but every now and then it gets political, and that's when I want to chime in. So on today's review, on the actual episode. It's a black woman, and I want you to guess who she votes for. And she's from Hades herself. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. That's why I, I don't. I mean, uh, go to Rubble. Uh, I'll just uh, <laughs> Damn, yeah. tell him. Yeah, uh, yeah, because I mean, because we're on YouTube. So, a question: Who would you vote for? Yeah. That's a good question. On this, on the coming one. This election, yeah. Yeah, who are you gonna vote for after we get? Yeah, this no election. Trump. I would vote for Trump. Okay, okay, so Republican, not Democrat, yeah. Okay. All right, what about you? Who are you voting for? Where's Byron? Who'd you vote for? President wise? Yeah. I think Trump. Because he's gonna give me my GI Bill benefits back. So Okay. <laughs> what about you? Trump. I think if Biden wins our economy is gonna go to shit. Okay. Mm. What about you? Biden. Okay. I knew it. I bro okay. Black woman, bro. Yeah. I was for <laughs> Shake Shack today. Oh no, I mean she came a vote. Yeah, you're an Israeli citizen, right? <laughs> you're American citizenship too, they, or no? They love my country, so I don't care. I love both of them. Why'd you leave then? Yeah, they love it. Huh? I said, I don't care because they love my country. Yeah, so then why'd you leave? Why I leave? Because I don't like my country. Because <laughs> she don't like her country. <laughs> wait, you want, wait, so you love your country, but you don't like your country? No, wait, she she said they love her country. They love they. my country. Biden and Trump they love her country. My country. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. They, they come oh, visit see, Israel. She even knows. Holy. Can't, she even knows. Can't make it up. Who oh, runs boy. America, man? One thing I could agree on. Uh, what I hate about the, the, the fact that our country loves Israel so much is that we're two different countries. Religiously, I'm a Christian. I understand the, the importance of Israel when it comes to Christianity. But I don't understand why we're so in we're so intertwined with their country, right? Like we have, we have dual citizens inside of our country that's in our government, and I think that's detrimental to our country because who are these people? Who are they loyal to? Okay, not saying that we're we're gonna be friends forever and that we're not gonna be friends forever, but it's like who are they loyal to? Who will they? Who will they? make laws in the benefit of when it comes down to it. And I think that's the problem between double citizenship people. I don't think they should have any role in our politics or in any role in our government. Okay? And I wholeheartedly believe that. I wholeheartedly stand on that. Okay, we we it's a lot of people that's pro Israel. I'm not trying to step on people's step on people's toes, but I just don't understand why we're so cool with allowing um pro-Israel individuals inside our government not understanding who are they loyal to. Let's get back into it. Uh, oh yeah, anyway. Uh, you know, who you would have for, bro? <laughs> bro, I don't know, bro. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did the Haitian girl say she was voting for Biden? Yeah, yes. the Haitian girl did you say that. You should know better. What? <laughs> Why did you say that, It's one of the biggest reasons why we're in this situation right now. Who's speaking? Uh, Mo. Me. He's Haitian too. One of the reasons why we're in this situation? Yeah, what situation? Biden's one of the biggest reasons. He was one in charge of the Red Cross oh, Foundation yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. that destabilized Haiti. You did did your cousins come in through Biden though? What? Did I come through? Did, did your I... cousins, your your family members come in through Biden? Oh, shit. No, like, no, we, no, they came, they have, came through. They did came you have through any Bush. family members they that came, came in they through? They came through George H.W. Bush. Ooh. So this is where the disconnect begins, okay? And I want to ask you guys, was that a typical response that you, that, that was warranted? Okay, you could under, you already knew that she was going to vote that way because her skin color? Or is this, is this a typical thing It's granted? My thing is this, especially her being from Hades, right? Shouldn't she have, or Haiti, shouldn't she have done her research before understanding who she's voting for? Because Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden has a, I mean, this American politics, 
have a lot to do with Haiti's downfall. And I would say that they should do their due diligence and see who's who was involved in that because these people are still thriving in American politics, especially on the Democratic side. So I don't understand what they expect to get different outside of their outside of their their family members coming here illegally and being blessed with citizenship. Um, to me, that's why I don't respect illegal um, immigration because they are they're permanent Democrats. No matter what these people do, okay, they know nothing about them. They just know that hey, he let me in the com- he let my family in this country, so I- I'm ro- I'm rocking with him. There's no legit reason other than me, me, me. Well, he did this for me, so you know, and that's how most black people, right? Most black Americans vote, okay? They don't vote in the best interest of America. Well, I would say. What's you in America without America? They don't think about that. And that's the sad part about it. Let's get back into it. Which is even worse because George H.W. Bush still got stole plane, way more money. Legally. My, my people ain't swim here. No, I didn't say they swim here. Biden allowed for Haitians and certain people to come to America. And, and to me, that's a crime. That's literally saying, yeah, my family are criminals. And he allowed them in, like, basically illegally. Like, he just said, come in. Like, and that's why we rock with him. That's illegal. And it should never be. That should never be a thing. Never. Okay? Never. But we understand the climate that they're in. Their policies suck. They cheat all the time. So this is the best way to win over new people because they have a political stink, a political stench on them. That they got to get rid of somehow. So they just need new minds and do something for them. And say, hey, look, we're good. Look what we did for you. But knowing that they effed over the American citizens. And we're telling you as an American citizen, that's not the right move. But all she's worried about, right? Emotional. um, Self-centered. Oh, look what he did for me, though. I don't care about I don't care about this country, really. I just care about what he did for me. <laughs> you went to America because it's great. They're trying to destroy this country, which which means that you're not gonna have this great country that you ran to. You probably gonna run, you probably just ran into a, another Haiti because they're trying to make it into that, and you don't understand that yet because it's not there yet. It's gonna probably take another ten years, right? I, I think that's kind of close. I think it's probably closer than that with me just gauging it. But you gotta understand that you gotta keep the sovereignty of something that you ran to. Okay, you have to. Is America is is the safe land for freedom. All right, if you want that, you got to keep that. But you don't understand that the freedom is under attack, not by people like you, but the people that you're voting for are doing it. Let's get back into it. Someone who's recently who's responsible for this destabilization of Haiti. Regardless, I'm I'm not gonna vote for Trump. So, no, that, there's that. But why though? I just it's prefer not to. I don't. I didn't like how it was when he was in office. What specific, like to be specific, which one, which part? I think he's, I think, I think he's a great businessman, but I don't think he should be a dictator to the United States. I think that it it fueled a lot of um, anger and. And that's the problem with propaganda. You got people who watch the news, right? That's not even from this country saying, and look, when Trump was in office, it, it was a whole divide, division, and 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 this whole stuff going on. Like it was never peace. The reason why is they made it that way. They wanted you to turn on CNN to see that it was protest, people throwing throwing uh, bricks and all this other stuff. Uh, George George Soros funding all these these uh, um, funding the destruction of your the, the community, the black communities. Yeah, they wanted you to think that because they are they're not going to just give up. These 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 criminals are not going to just give up. They're going to make it seem to an average day American who don't fully pay attention that. Well, look, there's no fighting going on right now. It is a little bit of division, but there's no no stores getting broken into, which they are. They're not, they're not being televised because it's not the time yet. When it's when it, when tr- if Trump get in office, which he will, I think, outside of the cheating, they will they will do it again. They're gonna cause they're gonna cause destruction, cause corruption, and keep fighting over and over and over and making it look like, hey, look, look, man, it was better under Biden. The adults are in the room, not knowing that this dude poops on himself. He 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 showers with his daughter. His son is a criminal. He's a big fat criminal. He's a liar. He's a plagiarist. He's done he's done plenty of things to show that he's not fit for being a president or being uh um in, in our politics. But people like that don't understand that, all right? And I don't expect them to but when you speak about something so passionate and say that I'm not going to vote for this person, anything but Trump, 
You have to know what you're talking about. If not, then I have to deem you politically ignorant, willfully ignorant, because you have the tools to understand and figure out what the heck is going on. But the fact that you don't want to and you came with that assumption sucks for you. It's such for you. And I think that maybe you should go back home. Sometimes I think that people forget where they came from and don't understand how it got there. Don't run somewhere and try to make the place you ran to the place you ran from. Because these people did terrible things to your country. They're trying to do the same thing now through globalism, through the New World Order, through every a lot of things. Right. No farming, uh, GMOs. They're trying to destroy us. <laughs> And it's, and it's as a collective, but you don't understand that information. So I don't understand why you have so much of a stronghold on your thought process. It's easy to say, I don't I don't know what's going on, but I feel something fishy, but I'm, I'm willing to learn. A lot of these Democrats just don't want to be wrong. No, I'm not going to vote for Trump. Why? Because of social pressure? Because of what you were told? Because your family's telling you, you got to be loyal, okay? We, we, we came here illegally. You let us in. Uh, you know, we got to be we got to be loyal to these Democrats, not knowing what they did to your country, willingly, openly. It's not hard to figure that out. It's one Haitian to another Haitian telling you, hey, look what they did. And you're saying, yeah, I don't care. I'm still voting for Trump. I'm not. I'm still not voting for Trump. That means that you're voting for the destruction of this country and you're voting for the destruction of your country, okay? As long as you got a place to run to in your country, fine. I'm cool with it. At least I got to run here. At least they got to run here. No, you got to understand the, you got to understand the problem. Where, where did it start, okay? And how do we stop that from happening again to a place that I ran to? It's on you to understand. It's on you to wake up. If not, then it's going to keep happening. And I'm sorry that it happened to your country, but it's going to keep happening because your ignorance and your and your willfulness to be ignorant because you're so tied to blue, no matter who. And this gives into the 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 this gives into the saying Democratic plantation. A lot of people don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. This is the people that will still vote for these people no matter what they could do anything Anything to their country, destroy their country. People now eating people in, in Haiti. So I heard I'm not from there, so I don't know. But it's terrible things happen there, all right? There's a revolt, I guess. And why? <laughs> why? Why? But it's on them, all right? If they want the same thing, keep doing the same thing. It's going to work out. It's going to work out the way, you, the way it intended to because you're gullible. So let's get back into it. So And the division. So Biden's better? Him. I wouldn't say he's better. It's just not Trump. So anybody but Trump. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why women should vote. Yeah, who and I, and, uh, but and then, not to be the majority of women here said they're Trump. only picking Trump because it's cool right now. Yeah. Um, it, uh, <laughs> shout out to my natural conservative women. All right, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, I honestly think the same, bro. Like y'all don't got y'all gotta understand that when you vote, you you basically sacrificing the men. Like you sacrificing the the future. You saying I'm a vote because of my feelings, but whoever died dies. All right, whoever so whoever ends up dead dies. Who cares? I'm saying, bro, we're supposed to serve and protect no matter what the men. All right, even it goes down to the to the down. It goes from the top down. We're supposed to protect. We understand that we're supposed to give our lives to what we believe in, not women. All right, and I don't think that women understand that this what that would do to the nation politically and socially, um, and to the population. It destroys, and it's meant to do that. All right, and it's meant to tap into women's emotions and think the things that she thinks, right, without doing research. Because at first hand, Trump is racist. Trump causes all this confusion, and uh, no, he didn't. Okay, it's this propaganda, and it's used as a weapon. It's always have been, and and look at Nazi Germany. It's always been used as a weapon to its citizens to prop up a certain agenda and they don't want Trump in office. So they're going to do that. Um, I would say Trump is not perfect. Okay. We all understand that Trump is not perfect, but also he's not a Biden. He's not, he's not in the establishment. You cannot, it's not like he's running from every interview. He's speaking to people like that average day podcast. They're not in the news industry. All right. They're, he's act, they're asking him, Real questions and he's answering them. You can't get that with an establishment politician. And I will say this: if you like this commentary, please watch my last video on Whoopi Goldberg because I feel like I'm getting censored in a way. Why, why does certain videos get more than others? But it seems like when I talk about a certain subject, I, I, I can't get that. I can't get that content out for some odd reason. So if you would do me a favor, if you like this content, 
I don't want to stop you guys, but if you like this content, if you like what I'm saying now, you will love the Whoopi Poopy Goldberg. So let's get back into it. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> so who are you picking? I'm going to go with Trump, but I mean, I, because I, it's cool right now. No, I've been a Trump supporter since 2016, mm -hmm. since when it wasn't cool to support him at yeah. all. Oh, okay. B but, uh, but yeah, I mean, my thing is like with women, you guys tend to go with like, you know, what's cool and stuff like that. I, I mean, if I'm going to be all the way a thousand, I think men need to be leadership, leadership roles in relationships. I think <laughs> what you said about a man telling you how to dress, I think men need to tr tell women how to dress. Because, quite frankly, women, you guys fuck everything up, if I'm going to be honest. Um, you guys suck at almost everything. Um, men are better than women at almost everything. Men are smart. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, man. South Central, we out. We be really politicking while we whipping in the kitchen. God be my witness. At the age of 15, I was fighting.